The other explanation for 1 Corinthians 15.29 we'll look at is what I call the apostolic dead explanation. Biblical scholar Joel White, working within the principles of rhetorical composition, argues that the dead in verse 29 refers, metaphorically, to the apostles. As we can see, Paul regularly refers to himself and his fellow apostles as, we might say, the walking dead. White argues that 1 Corinthians 15.29 fits into this pattern that figuratively portrays the suffering and inevitable death of Paul and his fellow apostles. This Greek word is rendered in the King James Version as at all, and in the Greek it is actually placed before the word dead. The meaning when it is placed this way is closer to actually. White argues that the verse should therefore be understood not as saying if the dead are not raised at all, but rather if the truly dead are not raised in order to draw a distinction between those truly dead and the figure of dead, or the apostles, in the first part of the verse. How does this resolve the meaning of the verse? White places 1529 in the broader context of 1 Corinthians and argues that it harkens back to what Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 13-17. At the time I wrote my book, no Mormon apologist mentioned White's thesis. I described it to one popular Mormon apologist, Edward Watson, and this is what he said. Up next, we'll consider another Mormon angle on 1 Corinthians 15.29, alleged parallel practices. 